Drinking buddies, I got this shiny new toy. Thomas Handy 2022, 130.9 proof. We gotta figure out how good it is. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> All right, drinking buddies, so I'm really excited. I've never had a BTAC before and I got a Thomas Handy. It's one of my uh, favorite pours ever and uh, I'm really excited to see if it is as good as I remember it being and if it is better than this 2020 version. So the 2020 version is 129 proof. One of those is in one of these glasses and then the 130.9 proof uh, from 2022 is in the other glass. I mixed them up, don't know which is which. Let's dive in. Ooh, the nose. <sighs> the nose is cherries. Cherries, like a, like a slight pecan thing, as well as brown sugar, vanilla. Man, it's just loaded with like decadent flavors, as well as something that's a little bit subtle of like, like, like a, like a subtle dankness, like, like damp books but that's subtle all the other like bright and awesome notes are at the forefront <laughs> oh my gosh cherries strawberries just all the red fruits brown sugar bourbon vanilla Really nice, really long finish. I love it. Love that pour. Um, don't know which that is, but the last time I had a handy, it was in a double blind that was sent by a fan, and every bottle in that in that lineup was a unicorn, and the handy handedly won. No pun intended. This is kind of interesting because they're both Thomas Handy. And this is a completely different nose. This is way more bright and citrusy. And that like dank, like aged quality, like that oaky, like wet wood thing that I got on here is way more potent on here. It's, it's way, way like deeper. Yeah, I'm just loving this nose. This is just a deeper, richer nose. Mm. Oh, shut up. Just, just shut up. Cherry, red licorice. This is a red licorice bomb, which is one, one of the things that I really like about Sazerac Rye um, is the fact that it's just got so much uh, red licorice flavor going on. This is that times 10. It's just so much more potent. It's Dialed up to 11, there's a little bit of a citrusy thing, and wow, peaches, like peach peach ring candy. Um, yeah, this is, um, uh, I'm feeling like this is like unicorn good, whatever's in this one, and this is like the best rye I've ever tasted good. So I, I think, I guess I'm just going to hope I'm going to lean that this is hopefully my bottle since I only have this much left of this one. But um, yeah, this is this is this is the best rye I've ever tasted right here. I am pretty sure of that. I, I, I mean, the fact that that I believe that this is this one, the fact that this one just slaughtered other rye unicorns, including things like Parker's Heritage Rye, um, Old Carter Rye, uh, Willet um, Seven Year Rye, uh, this thing, this one right here slaughtered some unicorn rice, and this is just noticeably better. Um, I am so insanely happy that I landed this bottle. <sighs> wow, yeah, let's find out. Number one, all right, so the 2022 is king. Um, number, this is, yeah, two, so this is the 2020. They're both excellent. They're both unicorns, I get it. If you're watching this and you're like, well, I'll never get to try those. 
but you can though. Like if you find a, a, um, a whiskey bar in your area, um, you can usually, if you get the right whiskey bar, this is about a $40 pour. Um, I know that sounds insane, but it is worth it. Um, I will pay $40 for a George T. Stagg, for a William Weller, for a Thomas Handy, for a pour of those anytime I see them on a menu. Um, I mean, I know that sounds crazy, but I do. I see them, I order them. Drinking buddies, if you can get a pour of Thomas Handy Straight Rye Whiskey, 130.9 proof, 2022 edition, so of course, of course, a buy. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.